Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be identifying unsafe images using Adalo, Integramat and Google Cloud Vision. Um, so of course you're going to need Adalo. Um, that is uh, what the main thing I teach. Of course if you just use Integramat or something else you can still benefit from this video. Um, Integramat, which is like Zapier, but I prefer it and it's a bit cheaper, uh, quite a lot cheaper. Um, you're going to need this if you don't already have it. You can find the, um, a link to it in the description of this video. Thirdly, you will need a Google Cloud account um, and you're going to have to get a Google Cloud Vision API key. This is not the subject of this video. There are good resources out there how to do that. I want to concentrate today on what you're going to do in Adalo and Integramat. So for the Google Cloud Vision API key, uh, you might have to just do a little bit of a search how you're going to get that. So let's get to it. Um, here is our Adalo app. This is based on uh, my last video. Uh, my last video we were blurring out the license plate and faces in images. In this one, we are going to identify content that is adult, spoof, medical, violent, or racy. So let's have a quick look. Um, before it was cars we were doing, um, so the collection is called cars. It can be any image, it doesn't matter. Um, we've got the name, we've got the image, image URL. Um, the names is not important, that's from before. But we're going to need a field for adult, spoof, medical, violent and racy. So um, let's head over to our custom action here. So we're going to be uploading a car um, or whatever it may be, um, a picture, a face, a photo. Upload the image and create it. It will then upload it and bring us to this screen and then we have a button we can press and that will start a custom action. Now the custom action you're going to create, call it what you like, it will be a create custom action. Um, you're going to need an API base URL. Um, so let's go to Integramat. Um, the first module you'll need on Integramat is the webhook module. The custom webhook one you can find here. When you've added a webhook, it gives you a link here, which you can copy to the clipboard. That is what we're putting here for our API base URL. So once that's done, um, you can test it. Um, what you'll want to do is add a JSON body with the input here that you want to send across to Integramat. In this case, it's an image URL. So we add an input up here, image URL, which I've added. Type text, name, and then an example value. The example value is important for testing. So I found a JPG direct link URL of an of a car from the internet and I've been using this for testing. So done. So we've got our base URL, our method, JSON body in a format like this um, with our input we've added there. Once you add the input up there we add it here with this magic text. Whatever we put up here is then available to, put, to enter into our body. Right, so on Integramat uh, we can press run once um, bear in mind, I've already completed it, but right now we just need to test the webhook. So run test request. Okay, test successful. Good. So we know our webhook is working. The second module I've got here is the HTTP uh, get a file module. This takes the URL um, as an input. So you you just need to find the image URL from the webhook and that's all this module takes and then it is going to output um, a, a file ready for the next module. The next module is Google Cloud Vision. Um, when you go and look at the modules there are um, quite a few of them and we're using detect 
potentially unsafe or undesirable content within an image. Once you do this, you're going to need your connection. This is the connection to your Google account and your Google Cloud Vision API key. Um, so you're going to press add. Um, here there is an online help section on how to do it. So please go have a look at that if you don't um, have a, a Google Cloud Vision API key already. You're going to want to go and do that. Um, I did it a while back but it didn't take me too long. It's not too complicated so give it a go. It should be fine. Um, we've got data from a file here so the next one data is fine. Source is HTTP get a file. OK. So we have now fed that file into Google Cloud Vision. Um, OK. We're going to get an output from that and we want to feed the output to the webhooks. Now, um, if you see here, uh, we need to make a body. The body needs to be in uh, JSON to be sent back to Adalo. Um, so here we go. You've got the key, which is uh, the name of the piece of data, and then the uh, sort of Integromat magic text here, which is uh, what is being returned by the Cloud Vision module. Okay, so you want to just copy what I've done here basically. So we've got all the data for each thing. Status code, I've got 200. I I don't know how important that is, but just copy me, it's fine. Um, and when you're done, you can press OK. By the way, this is webhook response. Note, it's the one down here, webhook response module. And that sends the data back to Adalo. Once that is all set up on Adalo, um, let's make sure that is active before we test more. Um, once that's all there, when you run your test, you will see that JSON coming back as the custom outputs. The magic text outputs, these are available because we have done a webhook response with this JSON body. Okay, um, and again, be really careful how you format this. Try and copy exactly. Um, a slight mistake and nothing's going to appear for you. Um, so great, we've got all of our um, data come back from the Google Cloud Vision through Integromat. Let's save the custom action. Um, now we need to make use of those outputs immediately. So we're going to update the car and we're going to update these fields. So adult, um, when you go on magic text, you will now see image vision. That's the name of the custom action I'm using. So your custom action is here and you can go and fill in um, each section adult spoof medical violent and racy um, done so now that should be adding the results to the database here is just a simple text box um, I've done to display the results so let's have a look if this is all working um, make sure I turn on Integromat um, let's go Right, so upload the image and the name, create. Okay, if we press detect, there, this is exactly what we wanted. So now it's telling us it's very unlikely to be adult content and the same with the other categories. So um, there we go, obviously, we can now start doing a lot more with this uh, data. So if we go to where we view the cars, this is a list and we could start filtering. Custom filter, for example, adult is not equal to likely. So very basic filtering we could start. Um, we could also, um, uh, the, the admin, we could um, 
let's see, these are the possible outputs from um, from the Google Vision API. So we could do a list that um, admin needs to go through. Let's do that very quickly. So let's create a list of um, it's a list of cars because that's the data collection. Now we want to only show the bad ones, right? Where any of these, so let's just do adult because the video is going to get long. So if adult is equal to likely um, or adult is equal to very likely. Okay, and yeah, so then we could add a button, an icon to uh, delete them, for example, delete current car. Okay, so anyway, there's a really simple sort of admin panel. They're going to get a list come up of any results where adult is likely or um, very likely, and then admin can go deleting them. Of course, you can do so much more. You can um, actually have it so the page opens up a big image, and then you can check, uh, a human can check to make sure um, that the AI is correct. Although the Google Vision AI is very good, very, very good. So I hope that is helpful, guys. Um, I hope the new format um, isn't too bad. I know I've gone a lot quicker. The Integra map flow is already built, but it, it's much easier to make the video a lot quicker and it doesn't go on so long. Um, so, yep, any questions, let me know. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Take care, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.